That's the only way he'll respond. <laughs> I know, I'm African, I know. You don't believe me because I have clothes on and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you say you're African. <laughs> they want that Discovery Channel African, you know? I know. That's the thing about Africa. People picture that. That's why you guys laughed hard. You know that. Like CNN does that shit when they do that. I love when they do those little documentaries in Africa, yeah? Those reports. Third world poverty. CNN is the best. And they love to send out that British correspondent because it's a good contrast. Because British people just make you feel inferior. <laughs> Even if you have the same amount of money as they do. They open their mouths, hello. Oh, shit. <laughs> they only send out that British correspondent in that fucking remote African village. And they gotta have it, he's white as hell. He has that fucking Anderson Cooper quaff. And he has his sleeves rolled up like he's been doing something and he's breathing just a bit. <sighs> I'm here in a remote village in the Congo. There has been tribal turmoil for years. This village has been riddled with violence for a long time. Behind me is a man. His name is Mbele. They just have some Africans standing by his door. <laughs> Mbele's dream is to escape from this riddled village. Dreams of freedom for him and his 17 children. They just show babies naked. <laughs> We interviewed Mbele to tell us the, the things going on in his village. Then they show Mbele in the next scene. I'm a little, I'm a little. 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 Then they have an interpreter lying about what he's saying. I want to be a pilot someday. He did not say that shit. He's looking for a fly swatter. Fuck that. I'm a wadi. I'm a I wanna wanna. I'm a Poverty is something else, man. That shit is lucrative. You guys know that. Poverty is lucrative. Come on. Who doesn't go to a bookstore and look at some pictorials of poor people? Hmm. Isn't it wonderful? Because poverty pictures, every, anybody that's poor is photogenic. I don't know what it is about poverty pictures. You can catch them doing fucking anything. You're like, hey, poor man. Hey. Congo, 1970. Wow. This is amazing. He's shitting in his own hut. But look at the beauty in his eyes. This is awesome. Look at the poverty, but look at in her eyes, there is hope, there is beauty, huh? Look at that, that's her work scarf right there, right there. Now, boom, watch this. January, more poverty, bam. Look at that store right there, barely got anything. Rotten bananas and shit, all kind of stuff. Look at that, Cambodia. She's like, can I get a passport? Can I get a visa? Nothing? Damn it. I gotta continue washing shit in this big unnecessary bowl. That's August, bam, we're not done. United States poverty. Look at that. But he's not white or black. They still had a Mexican. Isn't that sad? India. What? There's dry cleaning, man. Look at that. No one's picked their dry cleaning up because they can't afford shit. 
Who the fuck fucks with sheep and shit? No one fuck with sheep anymore. In Turkey, Istanbul, that's poverty right there. Bam, here we go. Indonesia, she's in her apartment right there. That's, it, that's an apartment right there, man. Look at that, that's a fucking studio, man. In New York, that'd be like $5,000 a motherfucking month. You know this is a poor ass calendar when they got coupons for your ass. Coupons in the calendar. Sports Illustrated, they don't do that shit, now do they? Do they have coupons? No, but the poverty calendar does. Look at that shit, huh? Ah, the Peace Corps ain't got shit on this. Look at this, look at all these poverty pictures. Everybody's suffering, except for the white guy, huh? Typical, you sneaky son of a bitches. Look at all these rich white people. Don't they look rich? Look at them, 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 look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. They all have money, everybody else is broke. Going to South Africa on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to do comedy there. <laughs> yeah, I know, everyone's laughing. White people. Uh, what did he say? I mean, white people, he said? Yeah. She just said, white people. Uh, that's all I have to say. Irrelevant heckling. White people. <laughs> this is what I'll say to the black man. White people. That should throw them off. <laughs> Caucasians! That'll scare them. <laughs> I don't know. Why did, why did you say that? Why did you say that? Because everybody I'm from South Africa. I mean, what, I mean, what the fuck? What round are you in? The fuck? Punch drunk? I ain't even got everybody! All of a sudden, she sounded like an old black man after that. She was like, white people. Well, everybody from down in South Africa. You know, a lot of white people go to South Africa. That's all I'm saying, baby. Shit, want to play a tune for you? <laughs> you just turned into a black man. How'd you do that? White people. Listen, let me explain something. You see, back in the day, there was an apartheid, so racism 